fake prescription pills laced with fentanyl are killing Americans from coast to coast. Yeah, the problem is so bad, uh, the DEA recently issued its first public safety alert in about six years. But the warning came too late to save one East Bay teen. KPI x Max Darrow on her father's plea to other parents. Overdoses are on the rise and federal fentanyl seizures have skyrocketed, including here in the Bay Area. The DEA recently launched a campaign called One Pill Can Kill, and the phrase tragically rang true for an East Bay family at the start of the school year. Every time I see the wind and the leaves moving, I feel like she's around me. Walter Langhammer finds himself at this window a lot these days, in his daughter's bedroom, gazing, listening, and reminiscing. She was always smiling and happy and, yeah, very, um, very happy person. His 14-year-old daughter, Valentina, who he lovingly called TT, died of an accidental fentanyl overdose in August. It was a regular Friday. She was a week into her freshman year at Concord High School. They walked home together, had dinner, watched TV, and said goodnight. But TT never woke up. Walter found her the next morning. She was gone and... That was the end of her life. Walter later found out his daughter took half of a pill she got from someone at school the kids called Sweet Dream. She thought she was taking something to relax, but likely took a counterfeit pill laced with fentanyl. To his knowledge, she'd never taken one before, nor had she ever used any kinds of drugs before. I didn't realize that half pill can kill you and how bad can be the fentanyl. Just an amount the size of a, the tip of a pencil can kill you. Or about two milligrams to be precise, says Wade Shannon. He's the special agent in charge of the DEA's San Francisco division, which stretches from Bakersfield to the Oregon border. This issue with counterfeit pills, drug overdoses, is affecting every community, big and small in the United States, including the smaller ones in the Bay Area. Our seizures have skyrocketed in this division. Just in this, this year alone, we've seized 74 kilograms of fentanyl. Shannon says, four out of ten pills the DEA seizes and tests contain enough fentanyl to kill. He showed us a bag of a thousand counterfeit pills from a seizure. So in theory, this is a thousand pills. Yes. 400 of these pills could contain a lethal dose of fentanyl. Yes, for sure. That would, that would be definitely what our labs have been testing. These are real prescription pills. These are counterfeit prescription pills. Unless you're an expert, it's nearly impossible to tell the difference between the real ones and counterfeit, potentially fentanyl-laced pills. Shannon says the bulk of the counterfeit pills are coming from Mexican cartels across the border, and they're being distributed in communities from coast to coast. But sometimes, people get them via social media, the dark web, or e-commerce sites. When you take these pills that you're buying on the internet, you're playing Russian roulette. He says the DEA can target the traffickers and try to stem the flow of fentanyl coming into the states, but that alone won't stop the problem. That's not the only thing. It also has to be education and treatment. Um, if you can reduce the demand, then, then that's a very significant event for us. Healing can take a lifetime. As the Langhammers begin the process, Walter pleads other families will talk with their kids about the dangers of fentanyl and counterfeit pills. Don't take the pill. I mean, they, they can kill you. We were very naive family. We didn't know really this is really happening. This is my favorite picture. Aside from spreading awareness, Walter is focused on holding his two other children close while remembering Titi's contagious smile. And whether at this window or not, he knows Titi is with him. <laughs> I miss her so much. The DEA says people should not be concerned about getting counterfeit pills if they're getting their prescriptions from a licensed pharmacy, and they should be confident that their pills are safe when taken as directed. In San Francisco, Max Dero, KPIX 5. Now, the DEA says that it has seized more than 9.5 million counterfeit pills nationwide so far this year. That is more than the last two years combined. Take